What is up guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. Today we're kicking off the Villages Challenge Part 2 and we are here at Gulf View Lake in the Villages, Florida. Now this is a little bit bigger pond than we were at last time. I take that back. It's smaller. Much smaller. Much smaller. But I see a lot of great conditions for some good bass. So we are here a little bit early in the morning, but we got two hours to catch us a fish. And right now, Paradise Lake has a lead with the largest bass being four pounds, 11 ounces, and a total weight of over six pounds. So we're gonna see if Gulf View Lake can compete with that. As always, starting with the swim bait. This fluke has definitely seen better days. We use them until they can't be used no more. Fish this cover right quick. So one thing about these ponds, not a lot of cover, so they're either going to be out deep on the bottom or next to this limited cover that there is here. We're going to try the swim bait first. If not, we'll go more in depth with the uh, finesse jig all right so got nothing on the swim bait not even a bite so let's uh go ahead and switch things up and uh you know what let's see if we can get an early morning top water bite never know before we start you know let that uh let that calm down over there a little bit Just looking for a little jump, a little sign of life. So far, sign of life, not met. Come on, fishy, fishy. All right, so buzz bait, not the way to go. Look, we're just going to keep cycling through baits until we find something that works. Because, like I said, with only two hours, you know, we want to leave nothing on the table. Now, the last pond, what seemed to really work was the vibrating jig. Now... Here we got a little finesse jig, big trailer, give it a little bit more profile. But,
All right. We'll uh we'll try the little finesse jig over there. Looks like a little bit of drop off too. Ooh, something just. Oh, we yanked it. We definitely yanked it. They did not go. They did not commit. Make this uh, stick on there a little better. Nope. I would say this trailer is done. We'll, we'll still throw it in there. Never know. Got him. Got him this time. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, you're not. You're not a baby. Oh, no, you are not. Oh, open up. Open up. So I'm pretty sure we just found a six pound bass. Off the finesse jig, see, this is why I love finesse jigs, guy. Even though it's a small hook, I don't get caught as much. And you can still, still catch some monsters. Oh, you should have saw the set, the hook set on it. Ready? Oh my gosh. Ready? Yep. Five, four. Five, oh, five pounds, four. Okay. So already we're off to a great start. First fish of the day. You cannot, you cannot ask for a better start to the day guys um, look at that fish guys look at that monster first fish wait i want to i want to hold it you want to hold it yeah see what a five pound beast feels like you're gonna have to hold tight if he thrashes you're gonna drop him all right you want to release him there he goes <laughs> calm as can be wow yeah, I was getting some bites over there, but they, I thought the worm was too big. No, You don't think no. I should switch it? No, you, you just, you have to right wait, you have to let them have it. Cause they had, sometimes they like, like for this, that little finesse, Yeah. it took him three bites to get it all the way in his mouth. And then once he had it and it was going, that's when I set the hook. Do we still have the receipt for this? Cause we've barely had this very long and it's already indented. And it was what are you $50. Baby, you're wearing polarized glasses. <laughs> oh, sweetie, sweetie. Oh. All right, baby, it's your turn to catch a monster. Although, guys, we are already only probably one fish away 
from beating and we have only been here 20 minutes you start the timer? oh i already did oh. we got we started at 7 25. Okay. Yes. only been here 20 minutes guys and we are already not even 15 minutes no it's 7 43. Oh. all right so oh snap did i leave my pole down there I lost finesse jig. I lost my fishing rod, guys. Sure as heck. Got so excited that I lost my fishing rod. So yeah, five six, guys. And like I said, this is pond fishing. Granted, they do they do stock these ponds to give their residents something to do. And uh, we're gonna take advantage of it. We know there's big fish here. So, finesse jig is definitely a win. Caroline is using a pumpkin head jig with a giant worm, which if she should be getting some good bites. Definitely should be getting good bites. I didn't really get anything over here, sweetie. All right, we're gonna take the swim bait back over there because I have a feeling that there might be a second fish there. And we wanna change the bait up a little bit. But guys, I like those aggressive fish, you know, the ones that chase down your bait. I don't care if they're small. I like them aggressive. So we'll uh, see if we can't get something off the swim bait right quick. They really just don't want the swim bait, guys. I mean, it is summertime. You know, these fish are on their summer pattern. So, you know, finesse kind of is the way to go right now. Which, you know, I don't, I don't mind doing that kind of stuff. I just I always like, you know, giving my favorite techniques a try first. I mean, these bass are pretty lazy. Maybe pick up the pace a little bit, see if we can't get a reaction. We'll try running it down the center here. Oh, damn treated wood and braid. Sucks. Like, I don't even know how that happened. Yep, lost it. Gosh darn it. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, instead of the zoom, we're gonna be throwing this uh, Optimum Baits Boom Boom, black and blue, my favorite color to throw here in Florida. Um, and we just went to a little bit bigger hook uh, to accommodate the size. This is a size six uh, quarter ounce Hibusa swim bait hook. All right, and we had to adjust the brakes a little bit on the tranks, had to lower them because this is a, a bigger bait, so it pulls line a lot quicker. So we don't have to worry about over spooling. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, come back over here. Oh, there's all where that uh, 
where we dug in. There we go. Sorry about that optimum bait. Totally forgot we did that trying to get that. So one problem with braid, guys. One problem with braid. Well, you didn't get tugged off, so that's good. All right. Try that again, guys. Well, I swear, braid can be frustrating sometimes. So I typically don't like using it, but gotta do what you gotta do. Guys, I love this rod. This finier flipping rod, it is, I mean, I'm using it for a swim bait rod because I like my swim bait rods just a little lighter. Um, a lot of companies do uh, like heavy and all that. Like this is actually a medium heavy with a moderate um, action. Um, so uh, it, uh, it really helps just sling it out there but when I set the hook, it gives me just a little bit more forgiveness. And uh, this is the Finier from Six Gill. You cannot go wrong with this rod. Even if you're using it for what it's designed for, which is flipping, it is a awesome, awesome rod. Um, now, I haven't had it that long, only a, a few weeks now, but I will be releasing or a couple weeks excuse me i will be releasing a full review once i get to that three month mark to see how it holds up but so far i've been extremely happy with it all right so it does not look like swim bait's going to get anything today all right, so we'll go ahead and put this up and uh, we will switch to chatterbait, I think, and redo up the finesse jig. All right. All right, guys, so we just got back to the house from fishing over at Gulf View Lake and the results weren't as great as I was expecting because it did seem like the pond would be a little bit more bass friendly than the last one. However, we did catch the biggest fish so far out of the Gulf View Lake. It did fall short to the total weight and we only caught one fish. However, we did have a good time there. We stuck to our two hour limit and now we're on to the next one. So thank you guys so much for checking us out today. We hope you are enjoying this series of the Villages Fishing Challenge. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you guys. And if you want to see more like this, make sure you hit that notification bell because we are coming out with two videos every single week. We can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Now go catch a fish.